What's going on y'all and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. In today's video, I'm going to be making a tutorial on how you can transfer your individual stocks from one pie to another pie on M1 Finance without creating taxable events. And at the same time, I'm going to be making some small adjustments to my dividend growth portfolio. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned and let's get right into it. So M1 Finance is still pretty new and they have a lot of things to work out. They don't really have an easy way that you can transfer one stock, one individual stock from one sector or one slice to another sector or another slice. So in this video, I'm going to kind of show you guys how to do it. You can easily just sell it and then rebuy it, but that can get really annoying and it can actually hurt you in the long run. For example, if you're like one or two years deep in your dividend growth portfolio, you're going to hurt your average by selling off your stock and then rebuying it. And on top of that, you're also going to have to pay capital gains tax which is basically the last thing that you want to do with a dividend growth portfolio is sell and rebuy your stocks. But yeah, in this video, I'm totally going to show you guys how you can do it without creating a taxable event. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the research tab and this is where you can go ahead and create your own pies or manage your own pies. So after that, we're going to go ahead and hit my pies. Once we're here, you can see we've got unused and used. So if you don't have a place that you want to already transfer, like a new slice that you want to transfer this individual stock into, you can go ahead and hit create new pie. And if you already have it, for example, I want to put Visa. That's the stock that I want to put into my tech sector from my financial sector. So we're going to go ahead and hit tech. And then from there, we're going to have to edit it. And the whole idea or premise on why we have to add the transferring in stock into this slice is because we need to create a place for it to go. It's going to make more sense as we go through this process. But for now, we're just going to kind of fill in the allocation. So that's the next step that you're going to have to do. I already have this written down, so it's just going to quickly fill this out for us. And two, oops, uh, 25. So then after that, you're going to hit save and we'll get right into the next step. And once you save and confirm your changes, you're just going to go back into that pie that you put the transferring in stock into and make sure that that stock is there and it's there. So we're good to go. And on a quick side note, so I guess this is an update and a tutorial video. So let's just go over the updates in my portfolio. So I decided to lower Apple and Microsoft and VGT just because I noticed that I have a lot of exposure to Apple and Microsoft. I have a ton of other ETFs in my other set in my other slices and I noticed that I have a self rule where I don't want to have any one individual stock more than six to seven percent. And Apple, although right at the time it was only at six percent, it's quite a lot just because of the ETFs on top of that. So I guess I was being exposed to a lot of Apple and Microsoft. So I kind of cut down on that. And at the same time, I got to add a little bit more Visa. So that was kind of the update for that. And with that, let's get right into the next part. All right. For the next step, we're going to go back to the home screen and from there we're going to go back into our slices and then we're going to go into the slice that we're taking it from so in my case it's the financial sector and then we're going to click on that stock that we wanted to transfer out so in my case it's going to be visa and then we're going to hit buy and sell so what we're doing is we're selling it but we're not actually selling it so you can see i've got 55 dollars and 73 cents change that to sell and then we're going to go ahead and hit confirm so that's going to create a taxable event, which is what we don't want, but we're going to counter react it and I'll show you how to do that. All right. So we're back at the home screen and we can see that we have one upcoming trade. We have that one sell for visa. So that's the first part. This is what we don't want. We're going to have to finish it off. So we're going to go back into the slice and we're going to go back into tech or wherever that you were, you want to transfer this stock into. And then you're going to go back to that same stock that we already created a home for. And then we're going to hit buy and sell. And then you're going to put in that same number. So for me, it was 5573. And we're going to do that. And then we're going to hit confirm buy. And, and once you've done that, you're good to go. It looks really weird right now, but we're going to back up to the home screen to kind of just show you guys that there's no upcoming trades, which means you're good to go. And for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to sell $1 of a random stock so that you can see that everything is seamless and everything's transferring over. So we're just going to hit buy and sell. I don't even know what stock I picked, but let's do that. Uh, $1 of Pepsi. So we'll do that. Confirm sell. And then after that, we're going to go right back to the home screen. And from there, you can see that there's one sell. That's one upcoming trade. And then you can see that we're doing this. There's zero buys and there's only one sell, which is from that Pepsi. And we're just going to cancel that. And then you can see that there's zero sells and zero buys, which just shows that everything's transferring over seamlessly and there's nothing wrong and you're good to go. And it can be kind of time consuming, but at the end of the day, you're saving yourself from a taxable event. So once you've done that, you're, you're pretty much good. You can also go in back into research and go into that pie that you took that stock from. And then you can just delete that slice. And then that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. So I'm just going to remove that. And then you're going to have to bump up these. So I'm just going to do that. 
hit save and then you're honestly you're good after that that's the whole tutorial and the last update i'm going to be making to my portfolios i'm just going to readjust the allocation for some of these slices and sectors of my portfolio so i'm going to bump up consumer i'm going to bump up real estate and then i'm going to bump down financial just because i only have that vfh aflac and adp in there so after that i'm good to go i'm going to hit save and that's all the updates for my portfolio and that's all I've got for you guys for today for the updates and the tutorial. I know this video is a little bit different than usual, but you know, it was kind of fun to make. So let me know if there's any other questions you guys have on M1 Finance platform, or if you guys are having trouble, you guys can totally email me or leave a comment and I'll be happy to help. Let me know if you guys found any value. And if you did, please like and subscribe or share this with somebody that's using M1 Finance and hopefully I can help them out through this video as well. And with that, I hope you guys take it easy, bless up and remember everybody eats.